number one. Yes, protect the body from trauma and infection, right? Contains keratin, which basically is a pile up of cells to protect the skin. Also contains acid, acid mantle, um, dermocidin and defensin in order to protect the skin from infection. Especially the acid mantle, right? It's, it's slightly acidic and uh, prevent the skin from getting infections, like bacterial infections and stuff. And also, the skin perform other functions. For example, uh, protect from, uh, from water, right? The skin is waterproof. You notice that? Skin is waterproof. Protect from radiations, protect from chemicals. And also it's important for the synthesis of vitamin D. Remember, even if you take the pills, even if you take the capsules, even if you take vitamin D, you need to expose your skin to the sun in order to activate the vitamin D. Right? It's also important for sensation. Sensation, right? Skin is very sensitive. What type of sensations do we feel through the skin? What type of sensation? Touch, temperature, pain, right? There's a lot of things we feel through the skin. All important, almost important for thermal regulation. We have thermal receptors in the skin. And the skin suffers a process of vasoconstriction and vasodilation in order to maintain a, a normal temperature. And also it's important for perspiration. So we sweat. We sweat if the temperature is too high. And skin is also important for nonverbal communication. Nonverbal communication. Skin says a lot about people, right? Yes, Rachel, yes, that's a good point. And also it's important for nonverbal communication. What is nonverbal communication? Come on, guys. I want some answers. That's, that's, that's a question. What is nonverbal communication? What is it? Yes, it's nonverbal, right? It's, it's, how, it's what you communicate without words. It's what you communicate without words. What, is, what type of information do we get from people without words? Is that people, uh, if, if somebody is it's clean, is neat, if that, pe if that person showers, uh, for example, for women, it's very important the makeup, right? You say a lot through the makeup. You say a lot. Also, the hair, the way you comb your hair. Remember, 90%, 90% of communication is nonverbal. 90%. Of that communication, it's nonverbal. Remember, perception is reality, right? Perception is reality. It's not only it's not only important what you say, but also how you say it. That's part of the nonverbal communication. The way you walk, the way you comb your hair, the way you uh, if you shave or not the way you dress, all those things are important. And that's part of the nonverbal communication. Nonverbal communication. 